One of the most popular and simplest ways to determine the stoichiometry of the metal ligand complexation reaction is the method of continuous variations, or often referred to as the Jobs method. For this discussion, we'll only be focusing on the metal ligand complexation reaction and the most common dependent variable for the y-axis, the UV vis absorbance. A typical experiment is to prepare a series of solutions with varying mole ratio or volume fraction of reactants. Identical concentrations of cation M and ligand X solutions are mixed and diluted to a constant volume. The total volume and the total moles of reactants in each mixture are constant, while the mole ratios of the reactants are systematically varied. Suppose that several complexes can form between a cation M and ligand X, such that M plus X will yield MX, M plus 2X will yield MX2, M plus 3X will yield MX3. Or in general, AM plus BX will yield MAXB. Jobs' method allows one to identify the stoichiometry of the predominant complex by plotting the absorbance measured at lambda max against the volume fraction or mole fraction. Maximum absorbance is reached at the composition corresponding to the stoichiometry of the predominant complex. Suppose we monitor the complexation reaction of a wavelength where only the metal ligand complex absorbs. In that case, a graph of absorbance versus the mole fraction of the ligand has two linear branches. One, when the ligand is the limiting reagent, and the second, when the metal is the limiting reagent. The intersection of the two branches represents a stoichiometric mixture of the metal and the ligand. We use the mole fraction of ligand and the intersection to determine the values of A and B for the metal ligand complex MAXB. In this example, the two lines intersect at the mole fraction of ligand at 0.75. It follows that at that point, the mole fraction of the metal is 0.25. If we divide 0.75 by 0.25, we get a ratio of 3 is to 1, or 3 moles of the ligand for every mole of the metal. Thus, the formula of the metal ligand complex is MX3. In the same way, these graphs are ideal behavior of job plots for the formation of complexes M3X, MX, and MX2. In general, for a reaction of AM plus BX will yield MAXB, the maximum absorbance occurs when the mole fraction of X is B over B plus A. So, if M3X were predominant, the maximum would occur at X is equal to 1 over 1 plus 3, which is equal to 0.25, as shown in this figure. Similarly, the position of the maximum at mole fraction is equal to 0.5, which can be identified by inspection, provides the 1 is to 1 stoichiometry. Let's try an example for the formation of cation A and ligand X complex and solve the problem using Excel. Determine the formula of the complex using the following data and find the point of intersection. As you can see, the volume, concentration, and absorbance of each solution were already given. From here, we can calculate the mole fraction or volume fraction of the ligand. Let's start by getting the mole fractions of the ligand. First, let's calculate the number of moles of both A and X. To calculate the number of moles, we need to multiply the molarity by the volume
click the plus sign and drag it down to populate the cells. Repeat the same step for millimoles of X. Multiply the molarity by the volume and drag it down. For the mole fraction, divide the number of moles by the total number of moles. And drag it down. For the ml fraction, divide the volume of x by the total volume. 1 plus 9 in this case and drag it down. Notice how these values are similar and that we can directly use them to construct a plot. Let's construct a plot. Select the x and y axis. This is going to be our x axis and this is going to be our y axis. Select the data to be plotted. Insert XY scatter. And here is our plot. The curvature obtained in this plot is the result of the incompleteness of the complex formation reaction. Recall that we need to obtain the intersection of the two linear branches or the theoretical straight lines representing the curve that would result if the reaction between ligand and the metal proceeded to completion. In short, we are looking for the intersection of the two trend lines. In order for us to do that, we need to divide the data into two. So let's just start with a new plot. For the first linear branch, we need to highlight this part and stop to where absorbance is maximum. Click insert XY scatter. Okay, so there you go. It, and then we can now add a new series by clicking the graph and then right click select data so for this one we, ha we, we have to add another series which is the second linear branch of our graph let's click x values so the x values will be the remaining data and then the y values and then click OK. So notice that we have two plots here. All right. And now we can have or add trend line for each. Click add trend line. Okay. So for our trend line, we need it to be linear. But we also need the uh, equation on the chart. We also need this forecast part here. So we have to extend um, the line by let's say 0.1 and then enter so notice that your line is uh, extended repeat the same process for the second um, plot so click the plot right click add trend line so we need it to be linear again and then we need to display the equation on the chart again and then this time it will be extended backwards so let's do the same amount it's 0.1 all right and then enter so as you can see here no lines are extended so that we can uh, also see the um, intersection of the lines let me just 
enlarge this graph this portion of the the excel all right so here is the first equation and this is the second equation so by inspection we can say that the ratio of the metal to the ligand is 1 is to 1 because it's uh, the intersection is almost at 0.5 mole ratio. But since we need to find the exact intersection, we can either look at the intersection and manually check that from here. Okay, so let's check the intersection. So we can format the axis. Okay, and adjust or the major unit so this is now in point uh, two so perhaps we can make it smaller so let's have 0 0.05 all right and then from here I guess we can now check the intersection manually so from here so around here 0 0.5 here is 0 0.55 so it's in the middle of 0 0.5 and 0 0.55 so perhaps 0 0.52 Okay, so around, so the intersection is around 0 0.52. Now, another option for you to solve the resulting system of two linear equations. So, these equations. By equating them and solving for x. So, if you equate these two equations and solve for x, okay, you will see that x is equal to 0 0.528 which is quite close with our approximation so from here if x is equal to 0 0.528 we can say that the mole fraction of the metal is 0 0.472 still the ratio of the mole fraction is 1 is to 1 therefore the formula of the complex is AX. Here are my references. Thank you.